Let's begin with breaking inputs that are coming in on the allegations against Mawa Moitra in the cash for query scam. Now, after the ethics panel has roped in the image in the IT ministry, we're getting an information that the ethics panel is now also seeking the MEA's help. And this is largely to monitor foreign trips made by the TMC MP. Now, sources have told us that the MEA could just go ahead and track all foreign trips made by Mawa Moitra. The Ethics Committee could also seek information on this entire matter from the MEA on her past trips uh, to ensure that they get more details on the allegations against her of cash for query and of handing over her parliament login for several favours to Darshan Hiranandani. Remember that the Ethics Committee has already uh, reached out to the MHA as well as to the IT Ministry. Polomi Saha is joining us with more details on this. Uh, Polomi, now the Ethics Committee reportedly reaching out to the MEA. Is this based on the allegation that was levelled by the complainant lawyer, by Dayadrai, and also by Darshan Hiranandani that he paid for Mawa Moitra's foreign trips? Well, um, Akshita, this is the MHA which will be investigating this. Uh, the ethics panel, as we've been reporting, it's the MHA uh, which has been approached by the ethics panel to look into her foreign trips in terms of whether, as a member of parliament, she had got all the clearances uh, from the Lok Sabha to proceed forward uh, with those foreign trips and when and where did she uh, travel to. They will, of course, be uh, gathering all of those uh, details and providing it to the ethics panel which has sought these details because then they're going to, of course, uh, seek help from from the Ministry from, uh, of Information and Technology as well. And uh, the Ministry for Information and Technology will, of course, ask the National Informatics Center in order to try and trace details of uh, various IP addresses from where Moa Moitra logged in and then, of course, uh, try and corroborate that with her position at that point of time, where she was at that point of time. So you match it with the CDR, the call data records of uh, uh, the said member of parliament, in this case, Moa Moitra. So that is what they're going to do in order to see if there was any login from anywhere else uh, uh, at a time Moa Moitra was said to be elsewhere. Moa Moitra, of course, has been challenging the same and saying, well, then the NIC should be looking into all MPs and every time they've logged in because all of these login credentials are uh, available with uh, their personal staff, with researchers, interns they have on their team who basically part, uh, form part of their parliamentary staff and they have all of these credentials so a, a member uh, of that staff could be sitting in a Dubai and could be logging in on behalf of uh, the member of parliament. That doesn't mean it's Yes, there's been a lot of back and forth so on, on this but let's see how this goes forward in the ethics committee investigation itself. Thanks, Paul, for getting us those details. Details, big updates that have come in on the story today. To sum them up for you, two of the big names in this entire case, BJP MP Nishikan Dube, who took this case to the Lok Sabha speaker, and the original complainant, Jay Anand Deadrai, both of them deposed before the Ethics Committee today, recorded their statement. There were questions asked to them also on the evidence that they have right now against Mawa Moitra. So let's get you those details right now. Why is it that the Ethics Committee is roped in reportedly the MHA, the MEA and the IT Ministry? It's because of the statements that have been given by BJP MP Nishikan Dubey as well as the complainant lawyer in this case. It's prompted also the Ethics Committee to now summon Mawa Moitra, October 31st. At 11 a.m., she's expected to appear before the Ethics Committee. Now, while we hear from Mawa's team that a copy of the summon is yet to reach her, after which she will confirm her presence, in all likelihood she will be there because she stated repeatedly in the past that she's willing to cooperate 100% with the investigation. Now, even as we get your details of uh, what exactly played out today, let's get your conversation that I had earlier with the Ethics Committee chief on the summons issued to Mawa. Vinod ji, you have a statement from Anand Dehadra ji and Nishikan Dubey ji. Did you summon Mawa Moitra on October 31st? Yes. Both of them have been listening to the committee. The committee has taken the decision that on the 31st of the committee, Mawa Moitra will be called in the committee. This has been listened to the committee. और सोनकर जी क्या दर्शन हीरानंदानी को भी आपके एथिक्स कमेटी समन करेंगे इसके बाद देखिए ये कमेटी जो भी निर्णय करेगी उस समय देखा जाएगा लेकिन वर्तमान में यही निर्णय हुआ है कि 
हुआ मित्रा को इकतीस तारीख को ग्यारह बजे कमेटी के सामने उपस्थित होने का सम्मान जारी किया जा रहा है वो आए और अपनी बात अपने समर्थन में जो कहना है कहने कहें जी आप कमेटी के सामने प्रस्तुत हुए थे आज क्या कुछ कहना चाहेंगे कुछ नहीं कहना चाहेंगे जो मैंने जो भी मेरे से पूछा गया था वो मैंने सच कमेटी के सामने मैंने पेश कर दिया उसके अतिरिक्त मैं और कुछ नहीं कहना चाहता क्योंकि आपको दो बार बुलाया गया अंदर एक बार दोबारा से बाहर भेज दिया नहीं कोई डिस्प्यूट नहीं हो रहा था सब जितने भी मेम्बर्स थे उन्होंने बहुत मेरे से बहुत अच्छे से और कॉर्डियली मेरे से सवाल पूछे जो कुछ भी मेरे से पूछा गया उसका मैंने आंसर मैंने दे दिया उसके बियॉन्ड कुछ नहीं हुआ माई मिनिस्ट्री हैज रिसीव अ कम्प्लेट फ्रॉम Uh, uh, the honorable mp nishikant dubey ji about uh, seeking access to nic logs uh, pertaining to another member of parliament those will be acted upon as per the rules uh, of uh, the government and uh, nic will act on it as per the, uh, the laid down rules on issues like this